Hi, a lot of learners usually have the question, what books uh, are very good for learning C programming? Uh, if you are a beginner or if you are an intermediate learner, what are the books that will be appropriate for learning C? So I have compiled a, a, a short collection of five important books that are uh, necessary for learners. The handling of the concepts is very good and for beginners, it makes a lot of sense to uh, read this and it's very user friendly. The fonts are very good and the concepts are clearly explained for a beginner. So I would recommend the first book uh, to read for a beginner. If you are first uh, reading programming in C is C programming in easy steps by Mike Megra. Once you have an idea of the language, then you want to practice some programs. It's very important that you practice some programs and you want to know about the uh, built-in data types and other data types such as uh, structure, union, bit fields and you want to know about uh, how uh, you can do uh, programming using loops and do while, while and for and then uh, the conditional uh, statements such as uh, if, if else and switch. So you want to get a good grasp of these things by writing programs. There is no way, no good way of learning other than writing programs to learn a language. So I would recommend these Shams outline series uh, for uh, programming in C by uh, Byron Gottfried. And uh, it's, a, it's a very important book from the point of view of uh, writing programs, right? So, and uh, please look for this third edition, Shams Outline Series for Programming in C by Byron Gottfried. And please look for the third edition. There is one on second edition as well, but you should uh, go for the one that is the third edition. So, first you learn the basics uh, in, in uh, decent detail, and then you learn to write programs using Shams Outline Series. The third one, probably, uh, C is not a very big language. So having a very thick book and uh, the complete reference kind of thing uh, may not be the need of the hour for beginners. So whatever be the language you are learning, whether you are learning lang uh, the C language alone or you are going to learn uh, C sharp .NET or Java, you should definitely take a look at uh, the C programming language by Cunningham and Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie, of course, is the author of C programming language along with Ken Thompson and Brian Cunningham gives his insights about language in an excellent manner, cryptic, excellent manner. So once you read the first two books that I recommended, the C programming language will be very appropriate uh, because you will get a very good grasp of the language and you will know how to write cryptic, short, meaningful programs in C. And there are a lot of good exercise problems in this uh, C programming language. It's a classic. So if you are entering the field of programming, please do not miss to have a look at this C programming language by Cunningham and Ritchie. So there are a lot of exercise programs in this book. So you should definitely take a look at the C answer book by Clovis L. Tondo and Scott E. Jimple. So Tondo and Scott book is uh, very significant because the uh, problems that are given in the C programming language book are solved in an excellent manner in the same cryptic way that uh, uh, Cunningham writes the programs in his book. So the answers are cryptic as well and very meaningful and uh, it will help you a long way in writing good, clean and meaningful programs. So please take a look at the C answer book as well. Finally, to write good professional code. I would uh, ask you to go through uh, Effective C by Robert C. Seacon. So this one uh, helps you to write how good code, professional code looks like in C programming language. So this will go into little more details of how you should handle structures, how you should handle enums and how you should go ahead and write uh, professional coding in C. So definitely take a look at this Effective C by Robert C. Seacott. So these five books will uh, come very handy for you uh, when you are a beginner as well as an intermediate learner. So hope you like this video. I would like to improve my videos in future based on your comments. Thank you.